Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be installing an optical drive in a mirror drive door in FireWire 800 model Power Magitosh G4. The process for both these machines are identical. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our Power Mac G4 on a static free workspace. We are ready to begin. Our very first step is to open the machine. To do so, lift up on the handle on the side and lower the door. The optical drive bays are located here. To remove the optical drive bay, begin by sliding this back plate straight out. Next, disconnect both the ribbon cable and power cable from the back of the existing optical drive by gently pulling them straight out. Now pull the cables out of the way. We will now remove these two Phillips screws using your number two Phillips screwdriver. Set the screws aside. Pull the optical drive back and slide it out of the Macintosh. We will now make our optical drive special tool out of a standard paper clip. Simply bend the paper clip straight. To be able to install our new optical drive, we will need to remove this front bezel. Push the straight end of your paper clip into the small hole in the front of the drive, which will cause the tray to push out. Pull the tray out a little bit more and find the two tabs under the bezel. Push forward on the tabs and the bezel should slide off. Now push the tray closed. In order to install our new optical drive in the optical drive bay, we will first have to remove this front plate. To do so, we must remove the top optical drive by removing the two Phillips screws on each side of the drive bay that is holding our drive in place. Once the four screws have been removed, slide the optical drive out by pushing it forward from the back. Now remove these four Phillips screws already on the drive bay. We will use these screws to install our new optical drive. Now to remove the front drive plate, lift up and back and it should flip forward so that you can remove it. We will install our new faster optical drive in the top position and relocate our older slower drive in the bottom slot. Slide the older optical drive into the bottom slot and secure it into position with the four Phillips screws. Before we slide the new optical drive into place, be sure that the ATA selector on the drive is set to Cable Select. Refer to the schematic on your optical drive for instructions. Now slide the optical drive into the top bay and secure it into place using the four Phillips screws we removed earlier from the drive bay. Slide your optical drive bay back into the Macintosh and push it forward until it locks into position. Replace the two Phillips screws to lock the drive bay into place. Now connect both the power connectors to both the new and older optical drives. Now connect both ribbon cables. Be sure to fold the cables up and as flat as you can as we need to slide the optical drive back plate into place. And finally, to close the Power Mac Attach G4, Simply lift and close the door until it locks into place. 